Welcome to the Straits Times SIM Forum on Disruption in Education. It gives me great pleasure now to invite our CEO, Dr. Lee Kwok Cheong, to kick off today's event with his opening remarks. We wish to learn from the experts on this topic. And this topic is really about our future and our children's future. Disruption is something that we in the media industry have a little bit of experience with. Let's just say we have some scars to show for it. And we have had to adapt um, as a result. And if we are asking for our education system to be disrupted or to be disruptive, we also need to prepare ourselves to be the kind of society that can not just cope but embrace some of the consequences that happen as a result. Introducing our first panel. It's a great honor and pleasure for me to be here in Singapore. And these two countries, uh, there are some similarities. We don't have too much natural resources. So education has been the key for the success of both countries. Let me address the concept of disruption and why universities need to dramatically rethink what they do. There are really three broad categories. And those three are what university teach, how they teach it, and how they operate. The biggest obstacle to this is not so much the idea, but really regulations and social convention next way behind. People still look for a university, a degree. But I can see people who are working from the reality of workplace, they are not so obsessed about this. So it's hard to make this happen maybe at the, at the undergraduate level for fresh school leaders. One of the big challenges we have is which dean shakes the hand of the graduate. It's the same question you were asking about how you do it, right? Who, right, who, sh who gets that through? And that tells you about the administrative sort of challenges that universities face when we try to build um, uh, these programs. We also have to think about how can institutions respond to the changing aspirations of young people and the ideas of what they want to do. SIM gave me a scholarship and when I called SIM up, they said, we will give you one year or however long you need to, to work on the business, and if it doesn't work out, you can still go back to school. And that was that thing that enabled me to completely cover my downside and enabled me to take the lead. So I think all of us here can do something to promote and also enable such alternative paths. And we don't just have to, to limit ourselves to the traditional mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, let's show our deep gratitude and appreciation to our panel speakers. Thank you very much for coming today.